Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you one way to use the Group By feature to help protect layered elements in Power BI. Specifically, how to use it to more securely add shadows to objects and minimizing user interface issues if the user clicks around in the report. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So you might recognize this report from the landing page of my company website. It's just a nice summary of site traffic that I have and visitors from around the world who come in from various countries and cities and viewed my website. Now what I've done with each of the elements on this page is in fact, I have added a background shadow to all of them. So you'll notice that there's a little background shadow here, um, same on this one and then all of these slicers as well. And you can actually observe that over here on the right in the selection pane if I open up any of these. Um, as an example, I'll actually look at the website views by location and spoken language. And if I open this up, you'll see that there's a few things in here. You'll see that there's the actual map itself that's shown right here. And then behind it is the background that I have in there. That's the shadow that causes it to have that pseudo 3D look that I just wanted to add in for some aesthetic value. Now, without a group by function in here, if I was say just to go ahead and move both of these out of this group, there we go. There's no more group now. They're just sitting there on the page in the selection pane. A user can come here and immediately click that and then it pops out. And the problem is that causes those user interface issues that I mentioned. So I still want to be able to have these shadows, but I wanted to minimize any user interface issues. So if you actually group by, go ahead and select both of these, make sure they're in the right order because you want this in the background. If you have that on top, it will stay in front. So ordering is very important, but I will multi-select both of these objects, right click, say group, and let's call this map group. There we go. Now notice that if I have not selected anything on the page, I can click here, I can use the controls, but if I try to click the shadow, I actually have to click two different times to get there. So it's still possible to cause that pop-up, but it's at least a little bit more secure this way. And you can further protect it by actually subgrouping it and putting that four or five levels deep. If you ended up really wanting to, you could say, um, group again with multiple objects, then you can continually push that down. Um, but as far as I've done in development, I've seen very little times where users actually click the same spot twice and cause this to pop up. So it at least wraps it secure enough that it really minimizes any of those issues that you have in here, but it still gives you that creative control to have the shadow move around with it, as opposed to uploading a background image where you have to pre-format everything and pre-size it. Um, and to me, that requires a bit more effort and time for in development. And it's the same principle that I did to the rest of these objects as well. They're just grouped entities that have the background in each single one of them. And this one, in the case of the actual object itself, what I have done, if you notice, if I select, say, total visits background, that is just a text box that I include from inserting it up here. An empty text box works for this. You really just need to have that background fill color that you want to get the shadow effect. Um, and in this case, you also even really could go ahead and use a button and use the blank button too if you wanted to. But either way, you just need a filler object to provide that um, little bit of a shadow peeking out of the corner. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about the video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comments down below. And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click or smash that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.